So Devlin Cook, running back for the Vikings, got injured. Well, what he had, uh, from what I see in the media, and now looking at the video. He gets kind of bent over backwards. Is he had a shoulder injury, that's obvious. They're saying he had a shoulder dislocation. I don't know if he actually completely, if he dislocated his shoulder. So dislocation, dislocation, shoulder to ball and socket joint. Dislocation means the, the joint completely comes out of the socket, okay? Sublux, subluxation means the joint partially comes out, pops back in, okay? If you remember, we've talked about the shoulder before. Uh, it's a ball and socket joint, okay? The socket, okay, has a little rim around it called the labrum, which is a type of cartilage that deepens that socket, right? So the glenoid, which is a socket, has a labrum around it called the glenoid labrum. That's where the ball of the humerus um, fits, okay? So with the dislocation, completely pop out, okay? As it pops out, you're damaging some of the muscles that hold that, uh, holding that ball in place, right? And you're most likely damaging that rim of cartilage, the rabrum, that's making that saucer-like glenoid a little deeper, okay? But uh, with a dislocation, you have to put them back in. They don't always pop back in, uh, and they're quite painful, right? So most dislocations are anterior, out through the front, 97% of the time. About 2% of the time, they're posterior, okay? Uh, those are rare. Those happen to people who are electrocuted or have seizures um, most of the time. And uh, uh, although you could have a posterior dislocation if you, you, know, you, had, you had your arm outstretched like that and you had a force coming this way, pop it out the back, right? Uh, and about 1% of the time, people have what are called inferior dislocations, inferior dislocations, right? So it goes down below. There's a characteristic way people hold their, their, their arms when they've had a shoulder dislocation. So for an anterior dislocation, usually the person has their shoulder externally rotated out, okay? And they have it abducted, okay? So more like this, right? If it's a posterior dislocation, they usually have their arm adducted, closer to the midline, okay? And internally rotated, okay? So they're usually like this, okay? And when they have the inferior dislocations, you usually see these people coming in with their arms up this, like above their head, because that's the, mo that's the position that makes, uh, makes, makes things most comfortable. So people hold their, their, uh, uh, their arms, or they're in a position that's most comfortable with the dislocation, but it's still not comfortable, because having a dislocated joint is extremely painful. I think what happened, if you look at this film, he had the ball in his right hand, his elbow out like this, lands like this. So I think what happened is he probably subluxated Popped out a little bit from the front, tore the labrum, because they're saying it tore the labrum, and I wouldn't be surprised at all. I think popped back in. Look at the video. He's clutching the front of his arm, right? And if you look at the video again as he's being carted off, he doesn't look like he's holding his arm in a position where it would be. It was dislocated, and I didn't see any video of him having his shoulder pop back in or located on the field. Uh, usually, you have to do that in the emergency department, uh, and often it's with either local anesthetic to decrease the amount of pain in there, and a big guy like that, you have to overcome the muscles that you're gonna have to fight to pop that thing back in. Um, oftentimes, you have to give the person sedation to completely relax those muscles and to get them not out of, to, to, to decrease the amount of pain they're feeling so that you can pop that shoulder back in. So, I think he subluxed his shoulder. In other words, it came out pop back in, didn't pop out all the way, okay? Uh, and it sounds like he tore his labrum. Depending on how bad the labral tear is, it's either gonna be just left to heal, or they are going to put in, uh, uh, find a way to repair it to the, uh, repair it to the glenoid. Um, it all depends on how bad the injury is. So, I uh, can't tell you how long he's gonna be out, can't estimate because you don't know how long, how bad the injury is. That's what they're getting the MRI for, and of course, you know, I didn't do a clinical exam. Uh, but he'll be out for a little bit, or a long bit, depending on how bad the injury is. Wait, is it possible to, like if he, if he never puts his arm out, if he just keeps it tucked in, could he play with that? 
Well, the problem with shoulder dislocations is that, uh, or even sublocations, is that if you stretch the capsule, you stretch the um, ligamentous structures around the shoulder that keep it in its place, it, be it can become unstable, okay? So if you're young and you have a shoulder dislocation, you're at high risk of having an unstable shoulder because uh, that's what the data shows. So you, you know, you more likely have dislocation. The highest risk of dislocation um, uh, is uh, the highest uh, factor, in, risk factor in dislocation, the previous dislocation. And the younger you are, more of a risk. Um, uh, usually, uh, if the person does adequate rehab and, um, uh, and um, uh, there's not a horrible injury to the ligamentous structures, probably going to be okay. Um, uh, again, it really does depend on how bad the injury is like anything else, right? So a minor injury, not as much you have to do. Uh, major injuries, um, if you dislocated this, you have what they call a hill sax lesion, you know, sometimes with so much force, dislocates, pops onto that, the corner of that socket, it digs into the, the bone inside the, uh, the, the humeral head that's rested on the uh, the bone inside a uh, bone of the of the of the, of the, of the uh, socket. Sometimes that can't be popped back in, even with sedation. Sometimes that has to be an operative case where you have to open it up, pop it back in, uh, and then fill in that defect of bone so that it can actually stay within the joint other, instead of just popping out. Right. So if you can imagine, you had a ball, cut off part of it, you know, uh, uh, you know, from a you know, or depressed part of it from a big dislocation, that thing will pop off, pop out much easier. Um, just like if the capsule is, is uh, stretched uh, too much and uh, the ligamentous structures are stretched too much, it can be as unstable. I think that he is likely has significant enough injury to take him out of the game that's painful, and he certainly probably has a labral injury, uh, but I don't think he dislocated. That would have been a much more serious problem, I think. Thank you.